Hello, Dark Reader, and welcome to the Dark Side of the Library podcast. I'm your host, Katie. Today, we are going to be talking about new graphic novels that have been coming out in December of 2022. Happy New Year, everybody. We are finally done, and I'm excited to see what comics and dark, gothic, spooky books are coming out in 2023. Let's check out the last month. So first we have Afro Samurai. This is the first volume graphic novel. This is by Takashi Okazaki. This comes out December 13th. It is the director's cut edition. So we've already had the original manga out, the show, which was amazing. So now we're going to have more stuff. This is the out of print cult classic. It features a specially commissioned custom cover and a brand new forward by Takashi Okazaki. If you've never read this, here's what this is about. It's really awesome. The art is fantastic. In a feudal, futuristic Japan, samurai battle to become number one and rule the world. But when his father, who holds the coveted position, is challenged and killed, the young Afro samurai vows vengeance. Relentlessly pursued by murderous assassins, will he stay alive long enough to keep his promise? This is a fantastic classic manga. I highly recommend it. It's dark. It's interesting. It's cool. I love it. So this is Afro Samurai, the Director's Cut Edition, Volume 1. Next up, we have Batman, The Court of Owls Mask and Book Set. So it's a whole set. The Batman Court of Owls has already been out for a while. So this book is by Scott Snyder, amazing author, and then we also have Greg Capullo illustrating. The best-selling epic that introduced Gotham City's dread Court of Owls is back in this amazing book and mask set. This mask, you know, just simply is kind of creepy. If you were to wear it around, it would freak me out. After a series of brutal murders rocks Gotham City, Batman begins to realize that perhaps these crimes go far deeper than appearances suggest. As the caped crusader begins to unravel this deadly mystery, he discovers a conspiracy going back to his youth and beyond to the origins of the city he's sworn to protect. Could the Court of Owls, once thought to be nothing more than an urban legend behind the crime and corruption... Or is Bruce Wayne losing his grip on sanity and falling prey to the pressures of his war on crime? So this is really, really interesting. You can actually wear the Court of Owls mask and pretend to be one of those dreadful people. Check out Batman, the Court of Owls mask and book set. It's 176 pages long. It's by DC Comics. It's fantastic. Next up, we have Beneath an Alien Sky. This is by Sid Cotian, who did Gambit, The Adventures of Apocalypse AI, and Dream Police. So this is their new comic about an alien planet. A madman releases a deadly monster onto an unsuspecting populace. The creature is the last of its kind, and it comes from the third planet orbiting a yellow sun. The Krimic Catan are an alien race who brought themselves to the brink of complete ecological destruction. After a devastating war, they refer to as the realignment. Their society reformed themselves under the leadership of a godlike AI called Control. Having done away with the political class, peace reigned. The new societies were self-contained inside giant domes, The natural world outside was left to heal itself, unencumbered by their meddling. However, not everyone was happy with this realignment. Appy, a remnant of the old world, plots to ruin the world by introducing the universe's most violent and invasive species into the fragile, recovering ecosystem. Standing in his way is Copa, a cop. Oppie and the creature's destructive ambition and Copa's naive ambition collide with the fate of the domed city and the struggling natural world outside hanging in the balance. The art in this looks beautiful and very creepy. I'm definitely getting actual alien vibes from this. Even the front cover has, it looks like alien, but he looks like he's maybe diseased. On the cover, check it out. It's called Beneath an Alien Sky. This is by Sid Codian. Next on this list is actually volume 12 of the Berserk Deluxe. So this comes out December 27th. This is by, rest in peace, Kentaro Miura. 
And if you've never read Berserk, you really should. I am probably just going to mention every single volume from now on because we're approaching the end of the series. I'm really excited about it. And these are collectibles. Kentaro Miura was unfortunately unable to finish the comic as his different issues. Luckily, he was able to tell his team exactly what he was hoping for for the end of Guts and Griffith and the Band of the Hawk and their entire journey. So we are getting there. Book 12 of 13 and volume 13 comes out in 2023. So this is kind of a powerful thing. We're we're approaching this really, really big mark here. It's Berserk Deluxe Volume 12 coming out December 27th. Next up, we have Blackwood Library Edition. This is by Evan Dorkin, Veronica Fish, and Andy Fish. This comes out December 6th. It is a supernatural fantasy about a magical murder in a sorcery school. And this is the deluxe oversized hardcover format. So this has already been out. This is 232 pages. When four teenagers with haunted pasts enroll in Blackwood College, a school that trains students in the occult, their desire to enhance their supernatural abilities and bond with others is hampered by an undead dean's curse. Ghosts in their dorm, a mischievous two-headed mummy chimp, a plague of mutant insects, and the discovery of an ancient evil that forces our heroes to undergo a crash course in the occult for the sake of the world. This is the first two volumes of Blackwood. Check it out. There's other stuff in here too. So there's like a bonus sketchbook. There's pinups by Peach Momoko, who's amazing. So many other cool things in here. So this is Blackwood Library Edition by Evan Dorgan, Veronica Fish, and Andy Fish. Next on this list is Dark Beach, Volume 1. This is by Michael Ruiz Unger. Comes out December 13th. It is published by Behemoth. This is a mystery story with twists and turns at every corner. And this is all six issues in one. Earth has been drifting away from the sun for 300 years. But that doesn't stop Gordo, a crime scene photographer living inside the dome-protected city of New Reykjavik, from dreaming about its warm glow. Is the sun as dangerous as the NRCE, or the New Reykjavik Corps of Engineers, led everyone to believe? Or will a murder rife with old sun mystery throw Gordo down a rabbit hole to find the truth? This has some really interesting art, and it's a unique story as well. It's just not something I've really heard of. I love the mystery and the space elements. It kind of brings me back to, like, iRobot a little bit. So check this out. This is called Dark Beach. This is by Michael Ruiz Unger. Next up, we have El Bord. Death and Other Things at... Probably El Bord. Uh, this is by Bruno Sherlu. I think I said that incorrectly. This is also by Behemoth Comics. Up or down makes no difference. Nothing is resolved until you reach El Bord. A man with prophetic dreams. Teens on the run. A controlling manager. A fed-up woman, a lawyer with a lot to hide, and a hotel in the middle of nowhere as the setting for a play where not all the actors are going to see the end. Welcome to the edge. Welcome to El Board. That's your selling point. The art's beautiful. The cover is uh, black and gray with bright yellow highlights. The inside is all black and white, no gray. Not even cross-hatching. There's a lot of the um, dot marks. For shading, it's an interesting style. It's kind of old school, actually. I really enjoy it. There's actually already some really strange bus driver. I am running into a creepy old lady with a strange doll. Oh my gosh, this is gory. This is a lot, actually. So if you are looking for something really strange and out there, so far, all I've been doing is looking at the photos inside the comic, and this is on Amazon. You can find that, and you can find all of the comics I'm talking about on our show notes, but go look at the link on our show notes for El Board, and it is it is crazy. It's interesting. It might be a little grotesque, uh, but it's it's dark. So this is called Death and Other Things at El Board by Bruno Kairulu. Next, we have The Killer, Affairs of the State by Matz. This is 176 pages. This is an Eisner-nominated series. 
and it's going to be an upcoming David Fincher Netflix film. So, caught and put to work as an on-call assassin for the French government, Killer has to adjust to working with a handler, his new partner, Nicholas, a former special forces operative and living life as a citizen. A network of citywide corruption awaits, getting Killer even more involved in the midst of a escalating crisis when he just wants to get back to his nihilistic lifestyle but as feelings for a co-worker arise in his day job will killer be dangerously distracted torn between two identities so this is the killer affairs of the state this is by mats and it comes out december 20th next is a mike mignola and it's perfect for holiday time unfortunately i'm not getting this to you before holiday time but if you're still in the holiday feel you still want some gothic reads plus this one is on kindle it's called lanai the vampire a christmas for crows this is kindle and comiXology which is uh, also amazon so when good and honest mountain folk come upon a small coffin among a carriage wreck they find themselves among darker company than they bargained for in this haunting christmas carol Mike Mignola and Rochelle Aragno weave a chilling holiday tale as the vampire Leonide once again casts her spell over unsuspecting audiences. It's cute. This is only 22 pages. It's by Dark Horse Comics. Uh, it comes out December 14th. Check it out. It is Leonide the Vampire, A Christmas for Crows. Next is a box set. So this would have been a really great gift. Um, if you have any January birthdays coming up, mine's in January. We have a bunch of January people in our family. This would be a great gift to consider. Uh, this is Michael Moorcox Elric. This is one of the giant dark fantasy box sets. It is one through four. Elric is the tortured hero of Michael Moorcock's classic fantasy novels. His stories are brought to life in these exquisite graphic novel adaptations, collected together in this glorious box set for the first time. It includes three art cards. We have the Ruby Throne, Stormbringer, the White Wolf, and the Dreaming City, all different arcs in stories. So let's start with the first one. Elric is the albino emperor who's ruled Melnibone. I'm sure I said that incorrectly because it, it sounds French. It's like Mel, Melnibone for a millennia. A feat made possible through magic and various herbs that serve to strengthen and prolong his life. However, Elric's empire is crumbling before him and now his envious cousin and prince... Yurkun plots to claim the ruby throne for himself. Yet, when Elric's people come under the threat of a pirate attack, Elric believes that he can once again restore his authority and regain their faith by defeating these pirates. However, the true cost of this task will force him to reveal his allegiance to the Dark Arioch, and the most dominant of the Lords of Chaos. Cool art. It really is. Check it out. This is Michael Moorcock's Elric. This is volumes one through four all bundled together. Next, we have Organisms from an Ancient Cosmos. This is by S. Craig Zoller. It is a supernatural sci-fi graphic novel. An alien spacecraft the size of a city materializes over the Pacific Ocean, and the nations of the world jointly engage this enigmatic and incommunicative visitor with force. The battle results in a large-scale destruction on both sides, but does not answer any of the questions that will haunt humanity. What are these utterly inhumane creatures? Where did they come from? Why did they choose to visit our planet? And most importantly, are more coming? For the bereaved billionaire Carlton Land, renowned biologist Amy O'Donnell, and the brilliant but blunt USAAF chief scientist Kenneth Yamazaki, these questions must be answered in order to safeguard the future of the human race. So this is the entire, it looks like, the whole graphic novel. Um, it's a oversized hardcover. It has beautiful art on the cover. It's a haunting 
interesting sci-fi story, and I'm looking for more of those this year, so I'm really excited to get my hands on organisms from an ancient cosmos. Next up, just briefly, because The Punisher is a dark mainstream comic, we do have a new series of Punisher stories. So it's Punisher Volume 1, The King of Killers Book 1, by Jason Aaron, Jesus Saez, and Paul Azaceta, issues... One through six, Frank Castle has become the most accomplished killer the world has ever seen. Now it's time for him to face his destiny. What shocking secret from Frank's past will convince him to take the reins of the Marvel's universe's most notorious clan of assassins? And once he becomes the warlord of the deadly ninjas of the hand, will it mean an end for the Punisher or a whole new bloody beginning? So now we're going to learn more about... Frank Castle and his even darker and more violent past and his future. I'm excited. It's The Punisher. It's a new series. We have Stranger Things Holiday Special next. This comes out December 20th. I really wish this came out earlier so people could have enjoyed it all through December, especially us dark readers. So this is by Michael Moresi. Chris Robertson, Keith Champagne. This is a winter special. Eleven and the kids of Hawkins are going into the full spirit of the season as they recall their favorite stories from their childhoods to teach Eleven about Christmas. Tensions run high as Dustin swears he saw something spooky lurking in the forest outside. This is really, really cute. This is by Dark Horse Books. Check it out. You can also just collect all of the different seasons. But this comic has not just the winter special we also have the halloween special and the summer special all wrapped in, up into this one i just wanted to mention and read off the winter special because it's adorable and it's the you know it's the spooky christmas season so check out stranger things holiday season this comes out december 20th and lastly we have a town called terror this is by steve niles and Simon Kudransky. Terror is a town of monsters. It's boundaries hidden from the world. You can only find terror if you've been welcomed, but it may not let you leave. Henry West escaped terror, rebuilding his life and true happiness in the human world. When his mother disappears, his father forces him back home. Old rivalries and wars resurface as he begins to unravel the mystery. So that is it for A Town Called Terror, but this is being published by Image Comics. They are amazing. The cover of this is phenomenal. I love it. It's dark. It kind of reminds me of Old School Preacher, which makes me really excited. So check out this new series. It's called A Town Called Terror by Steve Niles and Simon Kudransky. All right, so if you are interested in any of these comic books, again, make sure to head over to our show notes at darksidedthelibrary.com. You can find a whole bunch of links over there. Or you can join us on our socials on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook at Dark Side of the Library, and our Amazon Live channel at amazon.com slash live slash Dark Side of the Library. We try to publish every Wednesday and Friday. So stay tuned for then. And make sure to share this podcast with your friends and family. It really helps us out. And if you could do us a favor, can you rate and review on your favorite listening app? Or if you are listening over on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe. Thanks again for listening. Have a creep-tastic week.